Hey everyone, I wanted to just kind of <clears throat> get back to the Samsung Galaxy Series 7 Slate tablet. Uh, I want to show you guys uh, so far running the Windows uh, Builders Preview on the Series 7. Uh, I gotta say it is uh, probably the fastest cold boot uh, device out there. Um, it actually is faster than the uh, iPad and Android tablet devices. I'll show you guys. This uh, I have this completely turned uh, completely off. So let me show you guys how quickly this boots up. We'll do a little test here. Um, I'll push the button here. I'll set this aside here so you guys can see. And as soon as I push this, I'll show you it's turning on there. And then you'll see that it'll start to boot up. Is it showing there? Stop. And there you go. I can be up and running. I can go to the internet and start using the internet. That's how quickly uh, Windows are uh, the Windows 8 Preview developers uh, on our Slate here, the Series 7. <clears throat> this is running really, really good. As you can see, again, web pages load up quickly. It depends on your internet. If your internet is quick, uh, this loads up very quick and it's very fluid. And I'll do a little comparison to the iPad. I have also have turned this off completely. And as you know, we can see it was at 12.9 uh, seconds. So we'll go ahead and reset this and um, I'll go ahead and push the button here. Let's see, oops, let me hold on just a minute. Let me reset this. I have to push this and hold this on the iPad. Oop, let me start it again. There you go. I had a little few seconds there delay, but give you a chance to see how quickly this um, as you can see, it's still trying to load up. So you can see how much quicker um, stop there. So you're looking about 25.4 seconds, uh, roughly before you get into this uh, boot up sc uh, screen, and then you can go into your iPad. I'll do another test, to show you again. Um, I'll put this one to the side. Sorry about that, guys. We'll compare it here to the, an Android tablet. This is the HTC Stream. Uh, very good device. It's got the uh, digitizer where you can use the pen to write, which I really like because uh, I need that for a lot of applications I use. But here we go. I'll reset this one. And I'll go ahead and push the button here. And you can see, we'll see how quickly. As you can see, it actually was quicker than the iPad and the uh, uh, iPad. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. And let me see. It's actually, sorry, quicker than the S Samsung Series 7 Slate. So again, this is much faster. This is running Honeycomb 3.2. So you can basically boot up faster with the, from a cold boot with HTC. So as you can see there, The review with these other ones together. This is also completely turned off. Um, let's reset this and this time I'll make sure I hold the button down enough so I can get it started. And here we go. Must have not did it correctly. Let me get that hose. And we'll see how quickly uh, this actually boots up. So far, that actually HTC Jetstream has the, one of the fastest boot time. I wasn't expecting to have it boot up that quickly, but it did. 
as you can see the Asus uh, Transformer Prime is probably going to be a little bit slower than the even the iPad. This is the the new Quad 4 uh, Tech R3 with the Quad 4 running. It's a very nice device. It's very very thin and sleek as you can see. Uh, I'll be testing this and here we go. Stop. I'm sorry, they must have stopped. It's loaded up actually at 44.3 seconds uh, while I was moving it around. So, again, um, almost a minute you'll be able to go online with this from a cold boot. So, um, another thing we wanted to show you is if you want to go ahead and um, on, that, on this one, we'll put these aside. This is also a uh, show you guys how quickly I'll put it on sleep as you can see once this goes off it'll be in completely sleep mode which is nice because see at that point this is asleep so you'll be able to pretty much have this late with Windows once Windows 8 gets released these tablets and notebooks and everything will be very useful because you'll be able to put your computer either completely turned off so you can save some extra battery or put them in sleep mode which saves you know still doesn't use too much battery and then when you boot back up let me push that button here and see you can be up and running within three seconds uh, I'll do a show you guys how long it takes we'll do a let me do a comparison of not comparison but just show you how long it takes like if you wanted to completely shut down, let's say you wanted to shut down your computer and we'll, I'll put this here and I'll do uh, shut down and I'll do these together so as you can see it's shutting down and once that blue light goes away we'll hit the stop button oops there you go missed it by a little bit but it was around 8 seconds 8.4 around there but that's pretty very fast um, because when you're in and out uh, you can basically turn off your tablet the Samsung and this uh, can be very useful especially when you're on the road and you want to shut it off turn it back on you don't have time to be waiting to load up uh, you can restart your computer back really quickly and you can be up and running almost as just as quickly as if you had a your uh, a tablet but in this case you'll have a full version of Windows running and there you go again um, everything's back up again from a, this is from a cold boot uh, and you get to see everything and everything is really fast on the Samsung Series 7 slate here we'll see if we can play this one and there you go you can see all the it does have some little bit of uh, bugs still in Windows Preview, but you know you can expect that it's a Windows Preview version. Uh, we should be expecting the beta release next month in February, which will help probably a lot of things to get, get uh, strained out. Can't wait for the full version to be released, and I'll sure will be running it on my slate here. Uh, so that was just a quick comparison on the boot times. Thanks for watching.